the password to? It's seven seven seven. All right, I got that the set, holy my brother. Number, right? Yep, that holy number. So it's set. You want me to ring my bell? Okay. Yeah, ring the beckoning bell. Bell and confirmed. Yep, and that bell, the uh, small resonant confirm on this side. We soon match. Yeah. And we're now we're in Nightmare of Mensis, you know. And Nightmare of Mensis, I don't know if you talked about it in the last ones, but the Nightmare and Dreams in this game are kind of referring to two sides of the same coin. They're basically pocket dimensions created by the old ones using a human as a surrogate. This one is Mensis. Because uh, it's been a while since uh, you uh, played this part, but remember how we got to this area? We oh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. the un unseen village, and we killed the yeah. one reborn. Which came, it was like an eclipse, kind of berserk, kind of fell out of the dark. Yeah, and, and, and you go up to the old carcass. And then we and go you... into a room mm -hmm. that is full of corpses, mummified. Yeah. And one no. of them, is, aren't and we inside his them. dream? Isn't yeah. that menace that himself? Is, that's is, yeah. You know? Well, the Mensis is the call. That's the real gonna meet uh, okay. who is the host. You know? All right. His name is Yo, Nicolaj. Oh, what's it's good, not... bro? Almost how looking like doing, Vampire man? Hunter D. I don't know how you doing, Sire. And uh, this is as Asian as it gets. You look at my uh, Haku pants. Yeah, I'm liking those. Like, uh, yeah. you're ready for Nier. Yeah, or and Neo. a different type of katana. Yeah. All right, you I'm know. good. Had to say my little. Yeah, the little prayers. Yeah. Okay, we're going this way. Oh, that way? Oh, okay. Yeah. The Dementis was a school of thought, you know? Yeah. And, uh, the, they focused on the mind. Realized. The, the, their focus was to ascend, you know? Mm -hmm. and, like, it just to ascend and become greater, and, like, they broke it. Oh, Did damn. you die? I felt, yeah. You might want to come down and resign me. But yet, uh, <laughs> you don't need to re-ring your bell. I uh, just, uh, I forget there's a hole on that side. But yet, yeah, there, because you know, the, the church had uh, many different schisms between it, you know. At first, it was just the College of Bergen work. The people that uncovered the old ones and, you, you know, started experimenting on it. And then uh, through that vision, you see, uh, uh, you know, Lawrence and Ma Master Willem. Master Willem is an old guy on the real ch on the rocking chair that you meet before yeah. the spider. Yeah. You know, in the ruins of Bergenwerk. He stayed there, you know, I mean, he didn't leave. But uh, Lawrence came and formed the church in Yarnum. And he used the blood uh, to cure people, and he called it a miracle and made himself authority. Yeah. Like a godhead. Yeah. You know? And then, you know, it's the actually his, what's the, funny is through this story you could find a lot of relation that happens in historical oh, events. And, oh, there is yeah. a lot of it is taken yeah. a lot, and it's actually. Well, I need to uh, ring the bell again. Did you say ring it no, again? No, you or? don't need to. No, no, you don't need to re-ring it. You don't need to. That way you lose the insight. You don't want to do that. You just come back down the elevator. Yeah, and I'm stand down in the same area. Yeah, it will find me in a second. It's not saying. It's searching. I think I have to ring. Another, uh, uh, oh, nope, it uh, is. It's uh, searching. I see it. I see the little thing yeah, around. You have many stands still. You see it. Yeah, and see, uh, he formed, yeah, discovered me. Uh, Lawrence formed the church uh, with um, Ludwig, which was uh, probably his, like, uh, you know, lieutenant and, like, the person from Yarnum that, you know, gave him the, uh, you know, the, the gave him, like, uh, raised him up to the authority, you know, and gave him the structure he needed to form the church and do blood transfusion. He might have been a doctor. And German, you know, and German was a hunter. Because, you know, he, they soon realize uh, that there is, uh, we might, one of us might want to get a four shot. Yeah. <laughs> so you oh, don't fall one. off this time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah because yeah, I do have put it on dark setting, uh, just so you know, I, it's, uh, a game so it's more real. So should we kill that right there? We can kill this right there. They're usually not aggro, so you start go, uh, get, going towards them, uh, but um, or you start attacking them, but they sometimes sneak from behind your back yeah. and attack you. Yeah. So you want to watch out for them. Yeah, and then German was the last of the trio, and German was a simple man, you know, and he yes. was just used as a hunter. And his great skills in hunting made him useful to Lawrence as the first of the hunters, you know. But uh, you will learn more about German. But, uh, you know, German's role was the hunter. You are his disciples, you know. And uh, just like the rest of the hunters, like how we, we are, he was kept in the dark about a lot of the truth. 
Yes. He did not understand like the eldritch truth, you know. Nor did he care. He was just a friend of Lawrence, and he believed in him. You know? He followed him blindly, you know. Uh huh. And then uh, you know, there was uh, uh, there is then in the church ranks higher after Lawrence who was long dead. Uh, elite group uh, race uh, rise to power uh, called the the choir, you know. And you yeah. meet sometimes a few of these choir members. I think there's a box or. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or some item. I don't know. If yeah, there's an item. Not. Yep. A blue elixir, Brody. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. And then, yeah. So uh, the he the choir. The, uh, you meet one of them. You remember when you go to the uh, ruins of Bergenward? <coughs> yes. <coughs> Excuse me. In the forest. Uh huh. There's one guy in the by the staircase that uses magic. Careful with these ones. Uh, they're dangerous. Okay. The guy that uses magic the magic you know uses that um, you know the I forget what it's called the call beyond that sends a stream of lasers everywhere mm -hmm. you find him at Bergenberg he's relatively dangerous you know uses the chain you know uses a, the chain the chain thing. whip sword yeah. yeah yeah and he has a white garb on you know mm -hmm. he looks like oh, a yeah. character yeah, he's one of the choirs and the, 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 their mission is a little mysterious what the choir wanted to do, but the choir also wanted to ascend and keep their masses in secret. You know? Yes. And then mm -hmm. the, 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 one of the other main parties was um, the school. Careful, this person wants to push you yep. down. I just didn't want to fall, so I let him hit me because I wasn't yeah, trying to dodge. You're lucky he hit you the wrong angle. But the, the school of Mensis wanted to do what the Rom did. Rom was um, the spider. Remember the yeah. spider enemy? That uh -huh. was a member of uh, Bergenberg. And it's like, he ascended beyond a normal human, you know? And uh, they wanted to they, they wanted to get to that level, you know, and no matter what the cost was. And I think theirs uh, was uh, involved uh, sacrificial elements too. Yeah. You know? And uh, they c completely blocked away from the real world and the reality. That's why, you know, they have cages here. I actually have their headset. I remember those yeah. uh, dead bodies you saw mummified. They had cage around their head. Oh yeah, yeah. They I've seen. I've seen the cage. head. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. No, look at me. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll get you to that item. Where you I at? know what you're Where looking you at? at. Okay. Yep. I'm right here. That's uh, we're gonna fight that boss. That where's that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's Mi that's Mikolash. Yeah. Mikolash. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, the, and the set says uh, the school of Mensa's the unseen village, the hexagonal iron case suggests their strange ways. The cage is a device that restrains the will of the self, allowing one to see the profane world for what it is. Okay, it also yeah. serves as an antenna that facilitates contact with the great ones of the dream. But to an observer, the iron cage appears to be precisely what delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. So, you know, he's saying the oh, other point of view so the was thing, don't go in there yet. The thing that they're so wearing, the they thought was going to bring them enlightenment, it actually yeah, uh, it is, encaged them in a prison. Them, like, yeah. In their own uh, nightmarish prison, you know. So, you know, to like break free is like a, the, they became the architects of their own demise. There might be an item somewhere around. There. Yeah, I got it. I got it while you were telling me that stuff. Do you want to take this elevator? Is that what, what is next? We'll take the elevator and, and let's go. Yeah, and the great ones, um, their great calamity is that their race uh, does not uh, procreate. They, uh, you know, they're asexual. They do not reproduce. So what they do is uh, they uh, fall onto a host planet here where there's a crow up there that's gonna fall down. Like, uh, they, 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 like, uh, travel the cosmos and infect the host planet in the hopes of finding a race that they can manipulate into creating into another great one such as themselves. So that is their means of procreation, you know? But there was something that happened between them. Might have been a war of the great ones, you know? But the great ones would almost, uh, you know, either, like, a lot of them left uh, to another planet, and uh, because maybe the humans were not a particularly good host because they were either self-destructive, unstable, or uh, too smart and start taking advantage of them, you know, and using their power against them. 
is the first uh, group that found them was the ones that you see in the chalice dungeons. Look at these creatures. They have a oh yeah, they have the they have head a, of a wolf, the head of a wolf and a body of the crow. Yeah, another suggestion that there was a strange there was genetic by modification going on. Yeah, yeah and look, look at these ones too. Or maybe different mutations of the, of the blood, that. right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the, that's them are, messing with it, or is that a mutation or genetic modification? It by is, it? I don't know. They, were, it, it, they probably wasn't at the level of genetic. It, they were doing it in an arcane way. Yeah, okay, yeah. But definitely, yeah. they were trying anything. To them, like, nothing was sacred, you know? Well, like, that, that, that to me would be, uh, be considered a uh, genetic modification, not the mutation. Like, it, yeah. it was, Or they could have been yeah. modifying it through mutations, but what I'm saying is that that's it possible. was on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah. like how yeah. you make GMOs without yeah. like, going, wait, Thank wait, you. where did you go? <laughs> Thank where'd you, Bam. Yeah. Come back. Oh, I was just getting some stuff that okay, you go, go in that. Go in that cage. This is just a shortcut. Okay. It takes you to uh, the bonfire and just gone back See, up. See, that's even oh, creepy wait. right here. The whole atmosphere, like this is creepy. A sick, caged and elevator. And the down and this, the, the great sound effect of the chain. And I get back and I just listen to the atmospheric. The game is very deliberate with this lack yeah. of music. Well, one thing that no, I really please. enjoy about it is I like being the hero. I, I identify with that, but I like this too, as they may have thought this was Valiant, but you find out in the end, to me, what I personally yeah, feel is you're a villain. You are a bad guy. Yeah, Lord. you are, you know? Yeah. And uh, there is a person, um, I don't know if you met him yet or not. Uh, the, that guy that uses the Gatling gun. Uh, have you killed that guy? The Gatling gun? Dude, um, I don't If know. you haven't killed him, yeah. now, because at first he's hostile, but now if you go and meet him, he actually has a line of dialogue about, you know, like, you know, because they're from a lot of hunters, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but for a lot of hunters, look at these mannequin enemies, they're unique to this area. These are the, the church, the Mikolaj, uh, you know, I mean, the school of Mentis, um, who knows what they were trying to do. These seems like humans made into a puppet. Or maybe yeah. puppet mariachis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think they're called. Um, the, um, there's a name for them. A calavera. Yeah. As they say. What's this? You can use we... this bridge. Okay. This is a bridge, but it is temporary. Uh, so that's why I use the other way, so you know the way around. Yeah. You know? Okay. After, hey, bam. After, after this bridge, so. Mm -hmm. So when you ask me about stuff in this game, the reason it seems like I don't remember if I've done it or not is because, you know what I've come to realize is I've known this game a lot longer than how long I played it. I The first time I watched you fight a boss was this boss. That was the first boss I've witnessed in this oh, okay. game. okay, yeah, I think yeah. that's why you remember this mm -hmm. so well. And so you've, see, you've told me a lot of the story too. Things. So yeah, you've told me I a lot know, of the story right? too. So it's like, I don't know if I played that yet or not. And there's some places we went to and you're like, no, you have played this part. Okay, yeah, I have. I know. But I knew about it beforehand. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Rick, Rick, yeah, you got I me interested in this story and stuff that. way before I played it. Which and I've always liked Dark Souls, the game mechanics. Yeah, you know? and I've always enjoyed the game mechanics, have an appreciation and, and deep regards for solar, good. You know, uh -huh. when you come here, it's going to be close to your birthday. You're going to go home with Dark Souls 3. Hey, you know? yeah, it just, it's just a matter of finances. You know, I just, uh, yeah, if I could, I would have it. all these games. <laughs> I know already, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's a, that's a nice gift. Uh, you've seen how he is, right? He, yeah. um, he runs away. Yep, and, you know, it's an interesting fight. I like that aspect. I like that they shake it up and change it up. Oh yeah, they do. They, so, they, they, hold Bloodborne on, Bam. had the most. Yeah. Nikolaj is fast. We need to trap him in the room, and then uh, be careful because he does the uh, Augur of Abriatus, which is that octopus hand. Yep. If you get too close, so, uh, don't try to um, don't try to keep sunlocking him. He will right. eventually smack you in the face and make him one hit kill you. Okay. Go ahead, my good sir. Ah, watch it. Cars. Well, some say cosmo. Do you hear our prayers? No. We shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now.
So see, Mikolaj and his followers, the cult of Mensis, they gave up on their mortal bodies. As you notice, uh, when you see their mortal bodies, it's almost mummified, you know? And uh, see, he's standing up there. But uh, you go this way, I go the other way, and we'll catch him. Okay. Yeah. Eventually, and uh, ignore the, the skeletons that form up. Okay, he's coming to you. He's behind you. Okay, this good. Yeah, look around for him. Yeah, but since uh, since he has abandoned his physical body, he has nothing uh, but um, this dream left. He's down here. So if he dies here, it'd be, it'd be his ultimate death. Because, you know, he doesn't have his physical body to keep manifesting himself. And it, it's an interesting fight, aside from like the, the chase mechanic, uh, once we go to the second layer of the fight, he will start talking. Okay, we got him. Yeah, now we have to actually find him. Okay. Don't approach him yet, there's two skeletons yeah. in the room, we'll clear those out first. Oh. Don't stand directly in front of him, because he'll do that hand. So always leave a little bit of stamina for running away. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Careful, careful, careful. Nice. Oh, you asked? I won't let him. He would say he's... Careful. Wait, I know what to do with him. Nice. Okay. And now we have to go fight a second form. As he progress through, oh, he's gonna be the, you know, he's gonna say some different dialogue. You're gonna see that uh, he kind of gives his mission statement. And he kind of keep praying to this creature, cause, or he, as he likes to say, cause him, you know. I want to keep saying, grant us eyes, grant us eyes, like you did for the vacuous rum. This is a secret passage where you gotta go here. Do you like this boss room? How it's like a giant arena? It's a yeah, level old nice. creature. It's really tight. I got it. Careful. Pick it up, but careful. There's enemies down here that. Um, Use crossbows and they're relatively strong. Oh, and down there, there's an executioner. Okay, let me get my torch out then. You don't need a torch. Okay. Yeah, you can fight unhindered. I'll, I'll hold it. Yeah, look at these walls. These are eyeballs. But you got to think, uh, this is uh, this is probably with the study room in uh, uh, Bergen, one of the parts of the Bergen work that is now decrepit. As as uh, Nikolaj remembers, be careful with the crossbow guy. We got to drag this guy up the stairs so you can fight him without the other guy. And if you don't go down too far. Watch out! Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Maybe if you drop something good. Okay, now careful with this crossbow guy. As you once did for the wrong task. <clears throat> what is the item here? The moon. Oh, okay. The moon, I think, gives you more. Um, let me see what it does. The moon is something special. Moon gives you uh, b b more souls. I think you might already have it, but this is a better version of it. 
Dude, and like these are bookshelves. Oh, that's, that's why I think it was uh, one of the libraries in Bergen where I see kind of remembers it. Okay, see, this is this is the area of the can Careful, there's more of the these guys. Yeah, electricity is good against them, but I don't have it. Some say he calls them. You can see Mikola shops the stairs. You can lock on to him from here if you stand where I am. Lock on, we give him a big chase. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. Well, some say cousin. Do you hear our prayers? Oh, yeah. He jumped in the mirror. Did you see that? Yep. I love that escape, and then the mirror breaks. Mirrors have been portal in many stories. Yeah, we have to go find them again. <clears throat> yeah, but Bloodborne has um, <clears throat> the most di uh, different types of bosses in the series, you know? Like, it's almost each of them have their own unique touch. There's few that like, fall under the flailing giant type of thing. Yeah, the chalices nice. have a couple of copied ones, but the main bosses, see? You see down there? Yeah, we can do a drop attack on them. Uh, you want me to go it, for him? Say, yeah, drop R1. Oh, drop. he walked. That's <laughs> You're yeah, no, I him. love the boss spices in this. Oh, he went in the Okay, he went in the room. Okay, now I know what to do. Let's just kill these guys. Yeah, the boss boss is amazing. It was just absolutely incredible. <clears throat> okay, grab this item. Okay, see, that's another thing he uses to teleport usually. Okay. Uh, come down here, but usually he comes down here too, but since uh, he didn't, we just need to come and get the items. There's a hidden item somewhere here. Here, the body's here. Is there anything else on here? Oh. It, I, I skipped through a whole bunch of dialogue trying to pick it up. I didn't know that listening to him, no, I couldn't no search the body. Again. Okay, now <clears> I got <throat> it. Yeah, because I, I like listening to that stuff. I'm, I'm interested in yeah, the story he, he too gives myself. An interesting, he, he definitely gives an interesting dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Iron door key, yeah. And how he wants to transcend from what they are, humans, yeah, just into a higher like plane and stuff. Flesh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like grandpa's eyes on the inside, you know? Yeah, like, like the not millennial like the gland we not, have, you know, the third yeah, eye. It exactly. makes me think a lot of uh Not stuff like the way have. Rom got it as a spider, you know? Like, cause he like yeah. has hella eyes on his face. He's like means eyes within the head. You know? Uh -huh. Maybe it's symbolic, you know, not even yeah, real. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, because the eyes on the inside of your head will just show you your own skull. <laughs> you know? Mm. Okay, this bridge would later open up. See that bridge down there that I said is temporary? And that's why yep. I showed you the other way around. Because after you yes. kill the boss, you're going to pull the lever and it's going to come up here and open the next day. This falls. Uh, this uh, this drops us in the room that he's hiding. Where at? Did you just go? Uh, remember he ran ran it. No, no. Here I am here. Wait, don't just go far from where you are. Oh yeah, I'm to your right. I think I have to give her my screen gesture. Is okay up in here. 
Do you hear yeah. your prayers? What is the scream gesture called? Oh, it's because I didn't. Um, yeah, you did. You. Okay. I know why. Us okay. You gotta go down there and face him. And uh, he's in a close containment now, so he's gonna do a bunch of more magic. You do the drop hit, and I'm do the second one on him. He's not gonna move from it. You can lock on if you look kind of weird with your camera. Yeah. Okay. The cosmos yeah. of Yeah, but you need to stop him from... Yeah, when he holds his hands together... Oh, oh, oh careful! Oh, no I got way. him killed! Oh, both of us? Damn. Yeah, that is, that is the most dangerous move. Yeah, you have to interrupt him right in the beginning of it. Oh, he'll do it.